Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to all Biosciences with Shatrin Sawati. And Shatrin Sawati is here with a new lecture from Invertebrate series. As I have delivered almost four lectures before uh, about the five phylums from the Invertebrates series. And today I will deliver the lecture about the phylum Mollusca. Yesterday I delivered the lecture about uh, phylum Arthropoda and I hope so you people watch it and get benefit from it. So before starting my lecture I have a very humble request to all of you kindly subscribe my channel like my videos share my videos if you are sharing my videos you are sharing knowledge with others so keep watching and keep sharing knowledge with others and promote my channel if you are promoting my channel it's been you are promoting the uh, free education in pakistan and all over the world so keep watching and keep sharing now i'm going to start my lecture about the phylum mollusca what are basically the molluscas? You observe these molluscas all around you, like snail, uh, the octopus, and many more uh, uh, water living, and also uh, they are uh, land uh, animals too include and uh, i will uh, tell you here this is the second largest phylum after the phylum arthropoda so you can see here the few photographs from this phylum mollusca phylum mollusca molluscas the word is used for for the soft body animals they are soft, like arthropods, you say they're jointed foot animals, like you say, flat elementary flat forms. Similarly, molluscas are soft body animals. They are what? They are soft body animals. Now, more complex than the inverted weight that we have studied so far, like uh, they are more advanced than. Uh, phylum arthropoda uh, and many other phylums uh, I have discussed all these phylums step by step depending upon the complexity and organization so you can see the complexity and organization step by step from phylum porifera to phylum mollusca so these animals have coelom they are coelomate they are uh, uh, they have circulatory system they are triploblastic animals, must keep it in your mind. They are triploblastic, coelomate, bilateral, symmetrical animals. What are the general characteristics? They are coelomate, must keep it in your mind. They are uh, triploblastic, they have bilateral symmetry. Is it clear? Now, they have well developed circulatory system, digestive system, and excretory system. Uh, as compared to other invertebrates and you will see step by step so as i have uh, told you that this is the second largest phylum and it includes the snails slugs uh, clams octopus oysters squid and many more now general characteristics they as I have discussed that these are the soft body animals. They live in the ocean. Some live in the fresh water too. And their body is usually covered with shell. And I will show you how. Uh, they have foot, large muscles that molluscas use to move. Means the gastropore foot secrete uh, mucus to help it slide so they have foot and i will show you which type of foot they have this is the muscular foot and they have the visceral moss visceral moss means they contain the uh, gills gut and other organs in the silom they have mental 
cover the visual mass visual mass is covered with that mantle and protect the body of the molluscas that don't have a shell but it is present beneath the shell too so i am here showing you you can see here this is the outermost covering which is the shell which enclose the whole body of the uh, molluscas and inside the shell you can see here there is a layer which is known as mantle mantle layer and inside the mantle there is a visceral region and inside this visceral region you can see different organs gills coelom intestine gonads digestive gland stomach and many more and you can see here the small foot this is the muscular foot which help in the gliding help in the movement of that uh, molluscas so i will discuss all these things step by step the the nervous system the circulatory system the digestive system reproductive system each and everything in detail step by step now first of all i will discuss about the digestive system the digestive system of the mollusca is much more complex than the other invertebrates the digestive system now consists of gizzard stomach digestive gland and intestine you can see here the digestive system very clear digestive system here you can see this is the mouth opening and this is the stomach portion is it clear and you can see here this stomach then this is the gizzard portion and this is the intestinal portion this is the intestinal portion so the coelom in these small invertebrates is hemocoel like the coelom of the arthropods arthropods also have hemocoel they have hemocoel and i have given you the concept about the hemocoel means the blood from the heart directly flow into the body cavity so but there is exceptional cases some in uh, molluscas have open type circulatory system and some have closed type circulatory system and you people are now familiar with the open type uh, 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 circulatory system and the closed type circulatory system so in case of the open circulatory system the body is hemocoel because blood directly pour into the body cavity is it clear so the cavity is known as hemocoel now as you can see here the digestive system the digestive gland and intestine and stomach even i'm showing you here the two uh, figures and uh, in order to clear the concept of you people that which which is the shape of the intestine and the shape of the stomach where it lie and digestive glands and many more things now the concept about the digestive system is clear digestive system consists of what gizzard stomach digestive glands and intestine you can see here all the organs stomach intestine as well as digestive glands and gizzard now i'm moving towards the next one. how do molluscas eat octopus and squids usually use their tentacles you can see the uh, uh, these animals have tentacles so these animals use their tentacles like we use our fingers to grab food so they take the food from the water from the environment through these uh, tentacles and some species take their food through the tongue like radula they have radula and i am showing you here this is the mouth 
and inside the mouth there is a tongue like structure which is known as radula so molluscas use this radula some molluscas use tentacles and some molluscas use radula like uh, snail use the radula to capture the food so how they capture the food they capture the food through their tentacles and also through their tongue like radula is it clear now 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 i'm discussing the excretory system like in the arthropod you see uh, malpighian tubules are present or malpighian tubules are present you can pronounce it so in this case they have kidney like structure which is nephridia they have nephridias not true kidney but the nephridia performing the function and uh, like kidney and these are the tubular structure you can see here the kidneys this is and this uh, kidney is what this is nephridia and this nephridia is tubular structure that collect the fluids from the xylem ex ex and exchange the salts and other substances uh, with body tissues is it clear now what is the excretory organ of the uh, molluscas these are nephridias and nephridias are tubular st structures which collect the excretory material waste material from the body and then excrete it out now respiratory system they do their respiration through their general body surface and they have special structure special organ which is known as gill they use their skin as well and they have special organ one pair are only one feather shaped gill which is found in the mental cavity and now the concept for the mental cavity and the shell is clear shell is the outermost tough hard part and inside the shell there is a mental layer and inside that the gills are present which the molluscas use for respiration now circulatory system as i have discussed that circulatory system both type of circulatory system is present open type system as well as closed type system in open uh, type system the blood pump directly from the heart into the xylem and the uh, cavity is hemocele and there are sinuses present sinuses these are the spaces in the body cavity so uh, the blood is directly uh, present in the xylem and uh, pour into the xylem and bath all the organs so this is the open type in in case of closed circular system they have uh, heart and you can see here the heart of molluscas this is the heart region you can see this is the heart and this heart is located here inside the shell inside the mantle in the visceral region so this is the heart and this heart in some molluscas uh, the circulatory system is open type in in some cases this is of closed type is it clear to you now i'm moving towards the nervous system now the nervous system of the molluscas is developed as compared to arthropods as compared to other uh, invertebrates and you can see here the around this is the mouth and radula and around that there is ganglia which is uh, representing here the brain like uh, we are considering that this is a brain but this is not the true brain like the uh, mammalians there is a sort of ganglias ganglias and these ganglias which are the rod shape structure and these have you can see here the nerve cords arising from these ganglia is it clear these are the two nerve cords you can see for the coordination of the body mean uh, their movement all other activities uh, is breathing etc controlled by uh, the brain 
uh, which is present in the form of the ganglia and uh, uh, these have some uh, nerve cords which extend throughout the body is it clear now reproduction reproduction they usually uh, do the sexual production and the fertilization in these uh, organisms is external now what will happen you can see here i will show you the two gonads are present this you can see this is the gonad this is the herd and above the herd there are gonads present and these gonads produces uh, sperm and egg if they, this is the male and if this is the female the male produces the sperm and female produces the egg or uh, sometimes they are hermaphrodite both uh, uh, pre, uh, both sexes present the same organism so these gonad produces the egg and sperms and these egg and sperm release into the body cavity and from that body cavity it is excreted out to, uh, through the body uh, cavity outside and the fertilization in these organisms is external now you can see and read from this uh, slide two gonads are located near to the coelom and releases over sperm into it the kidneys extract them from the coelom so these sperms and egg release into the water and uh, outside of the body and then uh, uh, fertilization occur in the outside of the body so in some cases some molluscas do internal fertilization too. Some do external fertilization, some do internal fertilization. Means the fertilization of the egg and sperm take inside the body, this is internal fertilization. And if it take out of the body, this is the external uh, fertilization. So this is the reproductive system or reproduction in molluscas. Is it clear now? Now I'm moving towards the classes. There are three classes of the molluscas, gastropods, bivalents, and uh, cephalopods. Gastropods includes the slugs and snails, and bivalents includes uh, shellfish and many more. And cephalopods include the octopus, uh, you are very familiar with the octopus, and the squids. Is it clear now? I hope so. The lecture will be clear upon you people. And if you have any question, kindly ask. Write in the comments. And I will try my best to give you the answer of all these questions. And inshallah, I will be back with the uh, new lecture. And keep watching my lectures. Like my videos. Share my videos. Thank you. And Allah Hafiz.